maybe there's a continuum of tech companies. There's really high margin tech companies that have low marginal costs as they produce more things, and there are companies that are use technology, but they have lower marginal costs. And I think what you're seeing is that this, in this world where software is eating the world, we can't treat all tech companies the same. I think that is the, reva the, revisit the, the revaluation that investors are doing. Our investors at this point believe that the discipline that we need to get to profitability in 2021, it's the right thing to do for the company. And, but at the same time, they don't want us to make the fundamental trade-offs you, know, you don't want to hit 2021 and not grow anymore. And I think the plan that we have in place is a plan that absolutely hits our profit targets, but leaves the high growth nature of this, of this business intact. Public and private valuation was a very hot topic at the Dilba conference yesterday. And here to continue that conversation this morning, Bob Greifeld, chairman of Virtue Financial, former chair and CEO at this very institution we're sitting at, the NASDAQ. And of course, he's also a CNBC contributor. This is highest title, of course. Uh, he's also got a <laughs> book out, Market Mover, Lessons from a Decade of Change at the NASDAQ. It came out last month. Good morning. Um, Glad to be here. Great help new us, set. Help us. Uh, thank you. Help us understand what you think has happened in terms of this, what feels like a complete valuation shift, which is now forcing companies to ultimately change their own strategy in terms of growth. So I'm going to tie off to uh, tie on to what one of the commentators said. Every, technology, every company is a technology company. You have those who exist in the virtual world where the marginal cost can drop 100% to the bottom line. Then you have those that exist in the physical world where there always will be a cost of goods associated with getting that marginal revenue. So you have to think in those terms. You can't think just technologies. How are they operating in that sense? With respect to your question, right, private market valuations are different than public market valuations. Private market is you and I do a deal. Right. One of us could be horrifically wrong, right? When you talk about a public market, it's every investor and the ones contributing to all of this. All but the what's happening the crowds, is it's also bringing discipline the to the crowd. private markets now. What's that? It's also now bringing bringing discipline to the private markets now because the private markets are having to revalue. WeWorks what? is a line in the sand, right? It has changed the psychology of the market. It has burst the concept of let's spend everything just for unlimited growth. So we see a post-WeWork world that we live in. Why is it WeWork? Because I, I would say that this, it really feels like, I remember being out in L.A. the day of the Lyft IPO, actually. And you saw it with Lyft, and then you saw it with Uber, and now we've seen it with Peloton. You, they can't count, you can even, they can blow through expectations, and the stock still goes down. Well, it's a question of whether there was expectations. But I would say this, that was building towards that. But we've never had a situation before where a company went from $47 billion to seven in that kind of period of time. So that's really breathtaking <laughs> what happened. Joe's laughing about that. That's, <laughs> I, uh, that's, that's very true. So you're right. I mean, private market can have very accurate valuations. If you and I do a deal and we both have a, you know, a but rational that, view and of And what's it. the phrase you smoke, that, people, that uh, the SoftBank was smoking its own supply, this right. idea that, that part of the problem was that you had these sort of ratchets up and up and up in terms of valuation, but that it really was never, it was always a fake valuation. They were the, the, only, ones, they were the I, only ones in that they round. They were the only ones in it. Right. That, that and if you only have one or two investors <laughs> credentializing each, right. each I round. I have the mark to market my own stuff. And, and you can <laughs> say with this last round, it seems to me like you're throwing good money after bad, and to the extent that WeWorks would go into bankruptcy, then you could buy assets out of bankruptcy. But now you had, again, two players, J.P. Morgan right. and SoftBank, coming in. So is that valuation right for WeWork? We, we don't well, there's know. There's $17 trillion in negative yielding debt. Why should we spend free money everywhere? Why should we be surprised that there's uh, some malinvestment in bubbles in different parts and different assets? It, it, it has to show up. You're and completely right. It's, right. It's, it could be as, as simple as that. And private equity, since it's not... You know, they had a place to hide for, or, you know, private, not private equity, but these private companies, it's a place to hide. You, you know, there's no way to value right. those things. And the game can go on for a while till it doesn't go on anymore. Yeah. And it's not now. But, but, I, well, I think there are ways to value these companies, and you have to just get back to fundamentals, right? What is the market share? What's your expected share of that market? What's your relevant advantage, right? What value are you delivering to customers? What are they willing to pay? But what are competitions going to do But the revenue versus... Uh, profits, something changed. That, something that did change. Yeah, definitely. Right. I, I, I agree. And with that. we've got to run, but to your point about technology companies versus co companies that are in the real world, one of the things you're seeing, like with Airbnb, mm -hmm. all of a sudden uh, these asset light companies changed their policy yesterday. So now they have to have people manning phones. Also, all of the, all these services, all of these services that used to just require the trust of crowdsourcing for free, 
are now going to get a lot more complicated. No doubt about it. And getting so things that look like technology companies may not be. Getting into the physical world, right? right? Uh, if you can stay exclusively in the virtual world, <laughs> you'll do quite well.